I installed one of these radiators on my hydrogen cell today. The cell that I installed it on is a test cell that I decided I was going to build and run for a year and then use the information gained from that testing to build a final unit. But basically, because this is out of an air conditioner, everything is brazed together and not soldered. So, from what I've seen in the past, copper passivates slightly when you're pumping caustic soda through it. So hopefully this will work. Because my cell gets way too hot when I'm running it for long periods of time. And the hotter the electrolyte gets, the more it foams. That's the inlet temperature of the radiator. That's the outlet. That's the inlet temperature of the radiator. And that's the outlet temperature. It's cooling that stuff down big time. Yeah, it's definitely just kind of thrown on here. But like I said, this entire thing is just a test unit. And I've definitely gained a lot of useful information. This particular type of blower is fairly different than most you'd see. There's a radiator right there. But um, definitely works well. You can really feel the air being pulled into it on this other side. Definitely kicks a lot of air. Just got it tied into the system. I'm going to fire it up and see what happens. About 75 degrees Fahrenheit. I think the resistance and the flow is what's altering my amperage. Usually I'm way higher in amperage than this. But all that resistance running it through these coils is slowing it down. I haven't even had to turn the cooling fan on yet. Usually this torch is way hot by now. I'm at 38 amps. That's the inlet temperature of the radiator, the outlet. Thirty-nine amps. That's my diode array. I have six diodes, six 25 amp diodes connected in parallel. They're still running kind of warm. Okay. I'm going to turn on a cooling fan now at the 12 minute mark. I'm at 40 amps. Which is already going down, which is an indication that it is cooling off already. I'm down to 38 amps. We lost two amps. Cell's still heating up at 12 minutes and something. It's at 124 degrees. So, 
That's the cell temp. I'm shutting it down.